Hello everybody, welcome back to fixing up or processing to high voltage and other tiers. Uh, so basically what we're doing right now is, well, what I just said. We're making our ore processing very good. Now, the begin, well, last episode we discovered we were going to need these ore dictionary filters to prevent uh, tailing dust from going where we don't want tailing dust to go. We wanted to stay in the mass raiders for now because we'll have a different processing line for it. And uh, that's basically what's going on. If you're new here, we, um, it, it, you, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to you. You'll just have to figure it out. Yeah, anyway, this, I've never used a filter for this, and I believe if I just use Begmatite tailings, it will be on the blacklist, uh, or dictionary for that. So, and it also seems to have some other filter options. Let's take some Begmatite tailing dust. This is a tailing dust, as you can see. Meta dust. And if we just filter dust, um, pegmatite dust tailings, uh, what? Complex expressions. What? Okay, well, um, dust pegmatite tailings. <laughs> and so here you can see the prefix for or dictionary, which I believe is a dollar sign. And if we go ahead and type in control A, tailing, um, yeah, it pulls up basically every tailing you can get. So I believe if we just type in um, whatever this says for their or dictionary, which it seems to be uh, tailing dust. No, just tailing. Okay, so if I put in tailing, that's good. All right, no issues. Or filter explanation. What? No, that is not helping me at all. <laughs> oh wait a second, this this works like we just type in. D tailing like this does it match expression no issues does not match expression so basically insert item to see if it does uh, filter expression and basically we type in tailing that does not work this is dust pegmatite tailings and if we type in dust pegmatite tailings that accepts it uh, what, what are the other, uh, other how do we make it so it's not just pegmatite though now, it says in the help tab that using this can represent uh, any one character. Um, I'm not too sure about how we can do this. And now, putting in any of these X's just makes it so that way, like, as long as you put in one, dust X tailings. Now, this is not a normal X. As you can see, if we put in a normal X, it just completely ruins it. However, that putting in one of these means it can be anything. And that basically should mean... That if we were to put in, let's say, another type of tailing, do, 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 where do we have any tailings? Limestone tailing. For example, this should match. It does. And that's how that's gonna work. Nice. Now, this funny symbol can be found on, I don't even know what key it is, but it's one of the number keys, and if you hold shift, you can get it. Uh, tailings. Boom. And this has to be capital, as. This Java's case sensitive, as you know, and this is really Java right there. <laughs> now, running these through the macerators, you'll see that this does not output any tailings into the system. Even when it produces tailings, it should not be sending them out. Uh, this one might be making some tailings right now. It is sending them out for some reason. Uh, that is, that makes no sense at all. Filter extract, maybe? That might, that might do it. That probably does it. Yeah, I think that would do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it is just building up. All right, now that that's done, we can figure out what we need to do next with our ore, which, in the case of different ores, it's always different and it's agonizing. But I think what we'll do is we'll probably send everything to a box somewhere over here where we can then distribute it to different machines in different sections, and it's going to all be medium voltage for the most part. Or we could just keep this line. I like. We might be able to do it like linearly. Huh. Okay, so after pulverization, our magnetite will probably be sent over to one of these columns. This is going to be shifted over from that. Uh, that's going to be for the central steam pipeline, which is going to fall on top of the you know, wire. Now we can connect some pipes and uh, also pick up the right equipment. The battery buffer, not the macerators, just not the centrifuge, not the gold drum, not the battery. The battery buffer. Where is the battery buffer? That's it, okay. So the magnetite will be... Accepted at probably a setup here will be macerated and then processed in an electromagnetic separator. So, ore washing plant, then we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, macerator, and then we can do after that the next thing 
which is an EMAG separator. Hook them all up like so. This will need a filter on it, and the filter is going to go on this side. We're also going to need to ship in some water from somewhere. And you're wondering, where will we get the water? Well, I had fun thing called polyethylene. Thank goodness we had this miracle of modern engineering here. Let's go ahead and use it. Fun fact, 90% of the ocean is made up of this wonderful, beautiful substance that we've manufactured. It is so good that even the sea turtles like it. And it's used in virtually everything. You look around you and this is uh, not going to escape your eyes. Here we are at the bacon strip here. Nice. I don't know why this generated like bacon. I did not put that there. That is some bacon right there. Okay, so this will process magnetite and a, ver a variety of other ores, in fact, can be processed using the electromagnetic separator. Now, the recipes used for this are things like Nequadada, which I don't think is real. It definitely is not real. <laughs> we have magnetite. Uh, chromite can be processed in the same way. Chromite is a new ore that was added in the recent update, which probably won't be recent by the time this comes out. Pentlandite is a nickel-based compound which is an ore we can mine from the ground. And the thing we want from this is the iron nuggets, which we could put in a filter for that. I will mark down pentlandite as a thing we need to do. Nickel is a um, ore. Not actually, never mind. <laughs> Pyrite. That is a thing we should do. Considerate can be processed for hematite, if you want to do that. Now, garnerite cannot be processed in the same way, so we won't be able to use that. Pentlandite uh, can be processed here, so if we ever get our hands on some of that, we can do that. Um, pyrite, and it needs to be in the rock form, not in the crushed form. And it needs to be in the crushed form, not in the, in the other forms, like dust, rock, whatever. Now that all of, uh, we've got the filter set up for magnetite, let's go ahead and do another processing line. The big one we've already done is lapis, and as you all may have saw, it's it's a bit... You have to process it twice to get the most magnetite dust. Now, I do know a method we could use to, in theory, process uh, the lapis twice. So, we will take the crushed lapis and filter it and put it back in the ear. <laughs> Which is insane, but it works, and that will allow us to process it twice. We just need a conveyor belt now, and a screwdriver, and everything will work. This can just be a basic item filter, and you can do this for any ores you want. Anything that will fit in here. Eventually, you might want to do a um, different filter, or add more filter boxes later on down the road. You have a um, pipe there, filter box there that does more stuff. And then you can have up to 18, 27, if you just kept doing crates with conveyors on them if you wanted. I don't think we're going to need that many, because I don't think we're going to get that complicated, but hey, you might. And this reprocesses, as you can see, the substance that is known as crushed lapis, giving you more pegmatite. Now, as you saw last episode, we introduced, or well, I think this, yeah, at the beginning of this episode, we introduced the new uh, ore dictionary filters. We're going to introduce them again. We're going to use them a different way this time. Instead of blacklisting items, we're going to whitelist items, and this will allow us to essentially prevent items from going out the top, but force them to go out the bottom instead. That's how we're going to deal with the tailings, is we're going to send them through the bottom into sifting machines, potentially, underneath here. I don't know, maybe we'll do sifting machines down here, or we could just send them down over to the medium voltage line over there that we're not using. Anyway, it's time to set up these filters, and what you want to do is dust, as we discussed earlier, dust, funny symbol, tailings. And this just works. It just works. This is the best filter. Nice. From here, we will be able to add a Gregic item sorter, which is what I plan on doing. I don't know how we're going to process things. We might just send things that are very valuable to here for our high energy, or maybe over to there, because that is also a high energy processing line. Although, low voltage is an option. Oh, wait a second. You can't just put filters on the bottom of it. You gotta make sure to use conveyor belts. What am I doing? This is a mistake right here. Okay, gotta disconnect these. Now that we've added the conveyors, as you can see, all of the tailings are being collected here. Now if we use a sifting machine, it can be an advanced one. Stay calm and keep sifting. Yep. Oh, expensive. I'm not sure on that one. We might just go for this guy, because we got all the components on hand, and it's uh, not too bad. 
Literally, I'm going for that guy. Uh, I'm going for that one. That one is not bad at all. This one will cost two of these. And then you need to make the uh, medium voltage stuff. Pistons, for example. This costs some gears. Also costs some... Well, we're, we're only making one, right? Okay, six of these. I already have the plates, so don't worry about that. Go for a wave. And then the other two will go through the alloy smelter, become gears. And now we have an advanced sifting machine, which is... Uh, I don't even know why we made this, but it, it just seems right. And we also need to use this line for something, after all, don't we? And now we've got an item pipe hooked up to here, which will process any of our failings. And it has a high chance of giving us emeralds and things like that, as you can see. Which is the good reason of using this advanced machine here, because it gives you more failings and things like that. It's now time for us to take on another challenge, which will be redstone and garnerite processing. Both of which can be processed the same way because they produce uh, tailings dust in a similar manner. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, so garnerite ore is found in the nether, and it's first processed through pulverization, giving you uh, four of these, which is insane, and then giving you like two of these ultra mathic tailings. If you have the high voltage machine, uh, a few of these. And then you send this. Which can be pulverized again for one of them. That, that That's not how we're going to do it. It's time for us to make a new machine. This is going to be called the Thermal Centrifuge. And this will allow us to get these piles of this. The easiest way we're going to do this is through that Thermal Centrifuge. So we'll go make one. This is my first time making one of these machines. And I don't know much about what they are like or how they work or anything. So we're going to find out about that today. So first we macerate. Then, we process that in the thermal centrifuge. And from there, I think this works with redstone too. First you pulverize, then you can send it off to a thermal centrifuge for more ultramathic tailings. So the item filter is going to take in crushed ore for redstone, for garnerite. And that's basically it for now. And now we're going to need a box junction. We gotta take some iron screws over to the sawmill to get them nice and, uh, well, iron bolts to make them nice and... You don't saw those. You leave them. Nice. And that makes us some, uh, wooden box junctions. We're calling these box junctions because this will allow us to do multiple different directions with, uh, one thing and also make sure everything gets the right place. Basically, garnerite will be outputted into here, and I think we have a bunch of piles of garnerite, so... Garnerite's used in a ton of processes... ...for making nickel, basically. And we'll revamp the nickel blast furnace setups and all of that in the uh, next episode, we'll move it all over. It's just I don't want to move it right now. It's, that's the only reason I'm not moving it. But, we'll move it over there, eventually, and then we'll have it all set up and nice and good. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck, why would I do this? Why would I have this set up like this? Well, first and foremost, now we can now put downwards the tailing dust, which is going to be these tiny piles of ultramathic tailings. As you can see from the thermal centrifuge, green sapphire, or basically anything that we run through here will give us three tiny piles. Now, as you all may know, ultram ultramathic tailings and all or whatever, they get processed in a sifter. And to be processed, you must first package them. So that's what we're going to do, is place down a packager. These machines are incredibly handy, very important machines, and you need a lot of them. That's what I'm going to tell you about. So put on an item filter, and put on the tiny piles into the filter. Now, we can wrench this, and it's already in position actually, we don't even need to wrench it. Just hit, uh, hit item, output, enabled. And you could have a sifter down here, or if you're insane and want to get the maximum amount of results, for what you have um, processed, run it through the medium voltage sifting machine over here. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. I think that demands a steel crate buffer, which will be turned into a crate junction eventually. <laughs> the crate junction is uh, amazing. Okay, how do we make the steel crate junction? I think we need like four of these guys. One, two, three, four. Run them through the leaf. And then, if we have steel ingots or steel rods already, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'd make these with a hammer. And there's our 72 slot crate. This thing is basically a double chest. And from what I understand, you can put tape on these. But I don't know if you can do that here. Why does it sound like there's a jet taking off at my base? I don't know why it sounds like there's a jet here. 
But I think these turbines have synchronized to sound like a jet. That's a lot of quartzite right there. That is insane. Now, because we're truly mentally deranged, we're going to go ahead and use some zinc pipes. No, brass pipes. What? And we're going to connect this into here. Like this. We're going to build a pipe from here to here. Trap ourselves inside the pipes because we're bad at plumbing. And then we're going to laugh at what we've just done. Now, next episode, we're going to pick up where we left off with more ore processing. As you can see, we've got a lot done today. We got the um, these guys almost in, and then we're going to be working on a lot of filters and stuff next episode, and uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs>